you watched my video yesterday, I think my exact quote was, Jamar Chase's shoulder will be fine. And he's going to press us in full the next day. And this shoulder injury is a nothing burger. Well, <laughs> he presses in full. The shoulder seems to be a nothing burger. <laughs> oh, man. Not many times I get a, lot, get a very good source. Sis. Sorry, I watched too many Pat McAfee. Well, I get a lot of sources very close, and I find out more information than I should. Um, yeah, his shoulder's fine, guys. Don't worry about that. Um, Joe Burrow, full injury report. Someone actually asked, or full in, um, process today. Somebody asked why Joe Burrow is still in the injury report. And the reason why is because he is still recovering. Um, he is not 100%, and you know the NFL and how the NFL will absolutely destroy you if you don't put someone on an injury report when they're injured, even if it's the smallest injury. Let's say, I don't know, Joe Batchy went out there and he chipped his fingernail, right? And now his hand's hurting. They would have to put on the injury report hand injury. It could be like, well, yeah, my fingernail is chipped, but that's pretty much it. But because of betting and because, you know, people bet on games and they use statistics and they use all these things and all these metrics... You have to. You have to show it completely. And also, I see the first comment, someone saying, why is Trent Brown on there? He's out for the season. Because he hasn't been placed on IR yet. Until Trent Brown gets placed on IR, he'll be on the injury report every single day. He'll be, did not participate in process. Because unless he's on the IR, which would not count toward the 53-man roster, or he's cut on the practice squad, he's going to be on the injury report. Every single player who counts the World 53 man roster, if they are injured, has to be on there. And the only way you get them off there or get them off the injury report is by putting them on IR. Joe Batchy, full participant in practice with a wrist injury. Um, that's good. Trent Brown, we already talked about. Uh, Trey Hendrickson did not practice again due to his illness. So we don't know what his illness is. We don't. And even with my sources, I... So it says, I don't, okay, I'm, I'm going to stop doing that, I promise. But um, I, I can't find out anything either. I really can't. So I'm hoping he's good. Hoping he's okay. Because, buddy, you are a whole entire pass rushing department. You, like, you are the department of pass rushing. So we kind of need you. BJ Hill did not process again with his hamstring injury. Tanner Hudson also did not process. Um, Chris Jenkins, full participant in practice. Again, Chris Jenkins is back. He's 100%. He's all good to go. He's just recovering from his thumb injury. He got surgery on it. So because he got surgery, he's going to be on the injury report. Again, like I said, it, it, it sounds stupid, and it really is when it comes to how much you had to put on the injury report, but it's because of betting. You can't leave any detail off. I mean, you've had teams before get fined, lose draft picks, you know, get in real big trouble for missing a guy in the injury report. Uh, Sheldon Rankins did not process with his hamstring injury, so we're going to find out what happens there. Um, but for the most part, you know, kind of disappointing for a couple guys here, but it is what it is. You know, you just got to do next man up mentality and you got to just keep playing, man, and keep trying hard. They asked Jamar Chase about whether or not he thinks that Joe Burrow needs to be more vocal. He says, I don't know. I wouldn't mind it. Yeah, and I kind of what I expected from most players if they get asked, like, should Joe Burrow be more vocal? It's like, listen, Joe Burrow is the leader of this team. He's a great leader. He's an amazing leader. But at the end of the day, it's like if he wants to do something, he wants to be more vocal and be more out there and help out. Cool. Like, it's not going to hurt the team. So, why not? Like, it doesn't really... I don't know. doesn't really need to be asked too much about the whole situation. But, it is what it is. Uh, Bengals offensive line with the Marius Mims work agility and burst drills Thursday. I keep seeing a lot of people commenting on, like, Twitter and different Bengals uh, posts about, like, where will Marius Mims be the starter? Is he the starter now? Like, guys, yes. Marius Mims is the starter now. 100%. Like... 
There is no backup technically right now who would take over. Cody Ford is the only initial backup, or we could elevate from the practice squad. We have Eric Miller, we have Jackson Kirkland, and we have Devin Cochran. But those are the only guys that would technically be over Amarius Mims. But no, Amarius Mims was always sought to be the starter if Trent Brown could not go. So he is the starting moving forward, and nobody's going to take his job. Uh, Trey, no Trey Henderson at the start of the stretch Thursday. Again, we know because of the fact that he has, you know, the illness. Uh, Marius Mims explains the chip on his shoulder that fuels him uh, ahead of his first NFL start. Bengals in shorts and shells today on a short week. No full pads. Yep. It is what it is, you know. We'll kind of get back into the swing of things this weekend. Get our first win. Get everything figured out. Um, and... So he said the record does not show exactly who they are. I love I love this man. I love this man so much. He says the record did not does not show who they are. Not who they are. He said who they they who they are. Oh man, what's a Bengal all his Bengals? Freaking love this man so much. He said, when you see Cincy on the schedule, it's always fun to get an opportunity to go against them. And yeah, he will Sunday. Let's go. It's going to be a fun time, man. It's going to be a fun time. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.